Hi, Freema. You're in a film that's about vampires 1. Have you ever donated blood? I did at university, like a million years ago. But I'm thinking of doing it again, because my sister's husband got one of those kits you can get to test your own blood type. He found out he was O negative. And out of seven people who got tested, I got O negative as well too. That's the universal blood type, so we can give blood to anyone. Sorry, why were you using home blood analysis kits? It was something to do with all of this DNA family history stuff. I'm totally fascinated with heritage. There was a minute when I was talking to who do you think you are three, and some of the stuff they found out in the first round was really interesting. Would you be up for having the blood of a teenager transfused into you? There are apparently big anti-aging benefits. Well, fascinatingly, with my new film, it looks at the issues that vampires are discussing, and it goes into social media, and how we value ourselves in this world of Instagram and selfies. Bloodlust to Yemen and eat locals which cosmetic procedure would you most be up for? Nothing in practicing yoga and meditation, and it's doing wonders for one's perception of oneself. I'm in a bit of a hippy-dippy phase. It's not something I look down on, though. Everyone is entitled to do what they feel. What style of yoga are you doing? It's a combination of ashtanga and vinyasa. And lots of meditation. What poses are you good at? Do you know the crow is it like the eagle but a bit uglier? Yeah, it is. Do you feel that you were cruelly disbarred from being the first female doctor who for no I'm overjoyed that we have Jodie Whittaker? Not a moment too soon, really. SHE's perfect casting, and it's definitely the right time. Who else would be good in the role? Well, is it true that Bradley Walsh is going to be the new Assistant 5? I think he will be brilliant at that. You were in the UK version of Law Order. Which do you prefer, Law or Order? They go very well together, don't they? The thing I learned from that show was that the law is really quite difficult. My sister has a law degree. I just remember the books and books and books that she came home with to study. She came with me when I went to visit the Old Bailey and sit in on trials as part of my research. It was like a whole alien world. In tribute to Bruce Forsyth, would you like to play maximum sentencing? Play your cards right, it'll give you the maximum sentence in British law, and I want you to tell me whether you think it should be higher or lower. I thought we were supposed to be talking about my vampire film, Gavin Violent Disorder 5 Years. Too high or too low? Honestly, having played a lawyer, I know I would want to know a lot about the background. I couldn't just give you an answer if I haven't even seen the Men's Raya 6. That's only fair. Recently, you've been working on Netflix Sense8 with Andy and Lana Wachowski. What's your favorite sense? Given how I'm a complete foodie, it'll go with taste. What did you take from working with the Wachowskis? They were my heroes for many years. Ever since The Matrix, which changed my life in so many ways. They made me think about philosophy, about business. They say never work with your heroes, but they are so fantastically erudite and so interested in other people that it's empowering. They are unique, honest and brave artists. We need to be taking something from very encounter we have in life and learning and growing. Your half hour is up, I'm afraid. Anything else we need to put on the record? Yes, I'd also like to put in a mention for Epilepsy Action, a great charity I'm working with. It has a National Doodle Day on the 22nd of September. My seven-year-old niece was diagnosed at the beginning of this year. Sometimes these things have to be brought to your awareness. Footnote 1 Eat Locals, directed by Jason Fleming from Lock, Stock 2 Smoking Barrels, starring Mackenzie Crook and others. 2 12% of Brits are O negative, 36% O positive. Only 2% are B negative, 3 The dullest episode is generally held to be Cheryl Tweedy's, despite her grandmother being born illegitimately. For a Yemen played Martha Jones, the companion for 10th Doctor, David Tennant, for two series of Doctor Who, 5 it is. 6 The intention and knowledge of wrongdoing that constitutes part of a crime, as opposed to the action or conducts of the accused. But given that these are maximum sentences, we should surely assume malign intent.